Hey guys, it's the History Nerd, and we are back with another exciting episode of Order of Battle Pacific Japan. And where we last left off, we were, um, you know, contemplating what to do the next turn. And we're slowly whittling down the Allied Air Force, which is good. Hello, little APC. I would like the Chiha to be a bit stronger before we send it after that. Uh, we do have range on that handy dandy little town. Oh uh, yeah, they've already moved. Shoot! Alright, well we'll continue you going that way and I guess we'll take the organization hit through the jungle. That's still not looking good. But, we can move you back. And that'll be okay. Um, let's see, that town should be pretty much clear. And it is. So let's take it. That should cut off one of the routes those trucks like to take when they retreat, which is good. Speaking of, I had a feeling we'd find one of you here. Um, I guess we'll just continue with the anti-aircraft fire. And that took care of one of them. Come on, supply ship. Okay. Now, we're going to want to get ourselves set up for the push on the airfield. So let's do a little bit of a forward scout with the old plane. Um, with the old plane. That's not a plane, that's a tank. Honestly, I do know military things. I know it doesn't seem like it. But I know the difference between a plane and a tank. Usually. We'll get you down, and we'll get you in a good position, and we'll start moving these naval forces we got as a bonus. Now, I'm pretty confident the airfield is going to have some kind of anti-air defense. Yeah, so that might have that bomber completely destroyed. Let's get our zero moving. Not that that's going to be all that useful. Because uh, I think we've almost got their air force taken care of. I guess we do have that Warhawk down here. Mm, I don't want to move you in contact with the enemy. So we'll go ahead, end the turn, and continue on. Yeah. Yeah, that was bad. As was that, really. But we should be able to plop them down relatively close. Let's check our dead units. We'll close... Force. Dead units. If I had to choose which unit I'd bring back, it would definitely be these experienced guys. And that's going to cost me a whopping 30... And where can I put them? I guess the closest to any sort of front is up there. As we can see, they came back with hardly any experience. But they still came back with some. So, yes, it certainly does suck to lose a unit. But at least they've got a slight advantage. Um, Experience-wise. Let's concentrate just for a moment uh, we can get rid of that tab too oh no don't do, don't torpedo attack you will not be able to hit a bomber with torpedoes as much fun as that would be uh hmm, okay what am I gonna do I guess we'll send you down this way 
no anti-air anyway, so... Or anywhere. So we'll drop a bomb. Because I came to drop bombs, yo. Sorry. Sometimes I just can't resist making silly comments. We send you in. You down and around. We should be able to get the airfield taken in enough turns for the bonus objective. I hope. <clears throat> In the meantime, let's get these guys rolling down south here. You guys... Like so, okay. And this whole area... Yeah, we'll swap places with you. Because that Stuart tank is going to be fairly useless from here on out. I guess we could move you down there just to hopefully get you closer to that... ...fighter. Speaking of, let's get our Zero down and ready. Of course, we do have to be cautious. There are still units kicking around that are just dug in, not doing anything. Thankful for that. But um, there are going to be pockets of anti-air that just kind of hang around. Oh yeah, we'll get you moving too. That we're going to want to be cautious of. I don't know why. I guess we could switch this guy to an anti-aircraft role and then he will capture the hex he's on. But that will also cause him to be out of supply. So we will just leave that for now. Yeah, strafe a tank. Ho! Ho! Those guys took some serious hits. And I imagine these guys are going to take some serious damage as well. get you. Um, what would be the best way to deal with this threat? I guess we will replace your losses and just hope you guys dig in. Two for two, I guess that's alright. Because we can pull this guy back and help out a little bit. I should have put him here so we get a flanking bonus. But... Life lessons. Suck on that truck. Um, let's see. You're probably... Yeah, well, either one of you two. We'll go with you. And that isn't really the greatest. That should be okay. Which will force them to retreat, which then means we can come down and end their existence completely. Now, what we will do is swap you guys. We might as well hit the anti-air. Because that's going to have to be removed and we will take less damage doing so. Move you down. Come on, guys. Get to the front. Oh, we still have this stupid freaking bomber. There we go, problem solved. And all of those forces are going to be just out of range of my battleship. Maybe if I position it there, things will be better. But let's get my core forces out the way. And identify, yeah, it's really just the battleship that needs repairs. So that's good. 
No, we're all good there. How are we down here? We're ready to continue down here. So we should get that cleared, and then this tank can go take the town and give that Vickers Mark f 6 some business. That is not good. Now we can't swap you. So we'll get you in position. We'll have to move the artillery up next turn. We'll replace some of your losses. Just to make sure you can survive. And what do we got here? This is Mazero. So Mazero's going to come down and finally give this uh, Hawk a little what for. Uh, do we have anything we can shoot? No. I guess if we do that... Oh. That was perhaps one of the dumbest moves I could possibly make. That's okay, though. You know, that's fine. We'll put all these naval units to sleep, because there's really nothing they can do. Except for the battleship. I'll try and get them in range, but by the time it moves into range, it'll probably be too late. Oh, uh, yeah, you can assist here. Why not? Alright, that's everybody. Next turn. Looks like that fighter is no interest in engaging us, and that's just fine. I can hunt him down. Zeros are quick. And we need to capture the airfield this turn, so... I was actually expecting to take far more damage there. So we'll set that up in anti-aircraft mode, and then we'll come along here and say, Hello, fighter! We're definitely chasing you down. Uh, we'll bomb that. To no effect. Let's see. Blow you up. Or at least attempt to. Uh, artillery. Let loose. Like that. Like that. The swift capture of Kalachi Airport has caught a number of B-17 bombers on the ground. Air Force commanders have shown a special interest in these machines, as their own arsenal does not include any four-engined heavy bombers. So this is fun. We now have a unit of flying fortresses. If we take a look at their attack against land, it's a whopping seven. Mmm, no. I should have moved them further south. All those anti-aircraft guns are going to be big problems for us, so let's see if we can't maneuver some of them out of the way. You guys need that more than anyone else. I guess we'll start moving you guys as south as we can. The key here, though, is that we've got the airfield. So now we just have to end things in 30 turns and repair a bridge. All of that should be fairly simple, right? Mm, let's see. If we move you like so, we can't. Those guys are going to run, so we can shift you guys up. And that is not a good strategic idea. Alright, well with the town captured, we'll leave the Chiha to take on the Vickers. And we'll push our infantry forward.
Those guys are core forces, so we'll plop them up. Yeah, there we go. And why not? There we go. Um, you say I can move you, but I'm not going to. And we might as well get that Stuart going as far up as possible. Let's move the destroyer and move the battleship. Hopefully getting in range. Although, like I say, now that we've got this captured. Let's see how much damage we actually take in that bombing run. None. Alright. Well, that's good news. We'll be able to use those flying fortresses to good effect. I hope... You guys can do with some loss replacement therapy. We might as well just move you into the jungle and have you guys completely lose organization, but that's okay. Oh, I didn't even realize we cut off those those units there. That is wonderful news. Come on, AI. Well, there goes our steward, but that's fine. It didn't cost us anything, it was a free unit. Okay. We'll end you. We'll end you. And that's anti-air, so we'll slide you down. Nothing, huh? Okay. I should have realized that when I saw that they weren't going to be able to bomb those trucks. We'll get our zero up and into that airfield once we remove the unit standing in it. Um, also get you back because it's looking like you could probably use some fuel in the old tankaroo. And we'll follow along. Um, let's see. So if we move you up like that, we move you into where the Stuart was before. Get all our troops in a row here. And that's not looking too shabby. Uh, we'll slide you down and then we can start pushing you back. Now you are facing an anti-aircraft jeep. We'll get you back into our own lands. Uh, who have we yet to move? And we'll get you across and down into there. Yeah, and that is basically it for the fleet, and we'll get you rolling up to the battleship to repair them for free. Get you on the move. Not much, well, we can do that, and then next turn you will capture that tile you're in. Or around it, I guess. Hmm, that is not a safe place to be leaving my fighter craft. Should have realized that. Well, that is a fair amount of damage for a truck to take. Could have been much worse, though. <clears throat> 
Okay. Ah, we need to clear this out. Which should allow our zero to land and our bomber to land. Which is good. We'll just finish you off. Still nothing on them trucks. Really? But they're in a... Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> you just don't want to take that hex, do you? Okay, well, we'll finish that guy off. Nope, we'll almost finish that guy off. We can finish that guy off, though. Nope. We're not having much luck today. <clears throat> Go and secure that bridge. And then I don't want to push the advance too far ahead here. Without support from artillery. But we're finally in a position where we're almost linked up, which is great. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. And we've got no enemy aircraft to worry about. Oh, we can send that artillery down to support. That'll be nice. And we'll move the battleship. Although that will count as a combat maneuver. Um, let's just actually get you back in. And we'll go back to being a fighting jeep. Replace your losses. You've moved. Chances are you guys are going to wind up dead. Um, wanted you to go a bit further than that. But that's okay. Hold off. Damn. Alright, well let's take our bomber and start doing some good old-fashioned scouting down here. We can hopefully kill that guy off. Um, sure, and then next turn that should link up just fine. That should be good, like that, and then we can replace your losses. And do a little bit more damage with non-core forces. Let's take you. Bring you down. What do we got going on here? Right. Forgot about the artillery that's in place now. <clears throat> so if we move you like that and then like that... And then bring you... Well, we'll move you like that and like that. What do we got there? Dutch engineers, not a concern. Hmm. No, he needs some resupplying. In fact, this entire group could do with just a turn to rest. Um, hmm.
Yeah, let's get you guys ready to launch next turn. We got the second bomber coming in, so that's good. And start moving units that don't need a rest down. Now, how are we going to want to do this? You've already moved, you've moved. Replace your losses. Start pushing up. Yeah, that should be okay. <clears throat> you can just take a turn to sleep it off. Although if we move you down here... No, you need... You need... Rest. Shouldn't be pushing my scouts this hard. Uh, and I think that's going to be it. Let's just check up here. Get you in position, and then next turn we'll be able to repair that battleship. That is a big pocket that tank just created. Yay, you guys retreated. Thank you. Alright, please tell... <laughs> What's even the point of these bombers, then? Alright, let's head down here, and you can see all of the trucks. Well protected with anti-aircraft guns. That we need to kill. So... Let's get you moving. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, well, we can do this. Um, down and in. And let's try and get some sort of artillery advantage here. Don't advance, but now we can start really, really we can't go, oh, that would be why we can't go against those guys. That makes all the sense in the world now. Uh, replace your losses. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? I guess we will do more damage than we take. Theoretically. Uh, okay, let's take our bomber. Bring him down. And this bomber should be ready to go. Now, unfortunately, we're going to need a turn to let these guys get resupplied. But what this does mean is we can um, reposition our forces properly. What's this? Swamp. I can't imagine fighting in a swamp is a good idea. But we can get everybody maneuvered. Hope nobody comes along for the train. Why not? Let's link up in two places just in case we get a push from way the heck back. Nope, next turn. And you guys. Uh, and I think that's gonna be it. Cause you, yeah, you guys need some rest and resupply as well, okay. Ha! Suck it! Mm -hmm. 
All right, now before that truck enters safety zone, I'm hoping I can get my dive bombers in and they will be able to accurately kill it. But we are running out of time. Ah, oh, where was it? On the road somewhere. Oh god, here? No. But close. Yeah, you won't be able to do any damage. Oh, now we're able to bomb these things? So we can see they've got these massive 90mm anti-aircraft guns. I guess that didn't do anything. Joy, get off your train! Head on over. Cause, yeah, those guys... Come on, those guys should be able to take care of that. Where we can follow it up like so. Link everybody up. Get our Chiha on the move. And we've got no enemy contacts. We're going to leave those guys a turn to rest. And get our artillery there moving on south. Now I'm being cautious with my advance along here because I know that they do have some anti-tank weaponry which we're going to want to be careful of. successfully pushed most of that resistance back. Oh, come on. Yay! So we need three more truck kills. And then that's it. Once we kill three trucks, we've won the battle. And that's... good, but like I say, that's where, um... I kind of start taking issue with this mission because uh, if we don't kill three trucks by the time the mission ends, like I say, that's it for the war against... Well, that's it for the war. Like Japan, in this case, will lose the war if they are unable to murder them trucks. We'll let those guys rest. Okay, next turn. <laughs> but, thankfully, it looks like we're going to be able to push down into this area where there isn't as much of a defensive force as one would expect. And in fact, if we do this right, we might be able to encircle these bastards. <clears throat> Or just wipe them out completely. I mean, either one I am fine with. Okay. So things are looking good here. And... There's really not much in the way of a defensive position here. I'm a little surprised. Uh, we'll get our artillery even in closer. Get you down, and then we can swap ya. If we need to. Uh, let's replace your losses. And get our second piece of artillery here. That's still a little too close to the front line for my liking. You're done. You're repaired. So we can put the entire navy to bed. Well done, Imperial Navy. Um, let's see here. Wow, 
what we can do against these trucks, if anything. Ah, uh, yeah, you... you've done your bit for the Empire. Feel free to take a breather. We're getting very close to the end of this mission, so this episode might run a little long. Or maybe it would be good to end it. So that's what I should do. I should end it and check my hard drive space to make sure I'm actually able to record the rest of this series. So that's what I'll do. Uh, thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video. Leave your comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, jokes, musings, what have you below. Thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.